The first chowders were made in 15th century France. This is exclusively a fish stew. Whatever fish you had on hand, you put it in the pot, cook it. In America, Northeastern Indians were making chowder out of clams and oysters. This looks like I'm burning this chorizo to tarnation, but I'm actually just putting color on the spices. We use the Anaheim chili. It's kind of a little hotter than a green pepper, but it looks kind of like a jalapeno, but it's not even close to as hot. Instead of thickening it with cream, flour, and cornstarch like we do these days, they use ship biscuits or hardtack. By 1850, chowder was accepted as a mainstay in culinary fare in the Northeast. I always think of a big ass iron pot over a hot wood fire that would feed like an entire township. They used to have celebrations that way to welcome fishermen who are coming back from long stints on the sea. We're back from months at sea. To hell with the women, the booze. Give us your chowder. I typically make four different chowders. Traditional New England chowder, a Manhattan chowder made with tomatoes instead of cream, a Creole chowder, and in this case I'm making a Southwestern chowder. On bone chilling cold nights, there's probably nothing more satisfying or comforting than chowder. You would look on the coastline of the Northeast and see oyster shells piled 10 feet high. Some use flour to thicken the chowder. I use cornstarch and water and form a slurry. It just seems to work better for me. You let it simmer for several minutes after you add it, it generally smooths out and forms a non-gritty consistency. 